Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the MetaMoon token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step -step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer it over to the Smart Chain Wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swap it for the MetaMask token on PancakeSwap. Now, you guys do have a couple different options that I'll show you guys step-by-step -step in the video for, but I'd just like to let you guys know I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel. So if you guys are looking how to learn to buy cryptocurrency, sell cryptocurrency, and lots more into the future, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of things into that space in the future anyhow so just stay tuned here and i'll show you guys how to buy this token the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download trust wallet from the app store so just head over to the app store and type in trust wallet so i'm going to head over here search then just search for trust wallet and it'll just be this first one right here trusts and then the crypto and bitcoin wallet so you just want to download that first then obviously you want to make sure that you have binance or coinbase or an exchange of some sort uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB over in your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet, all you guys have to do now is add that MetaMoon token to trust wallet. And it's very easy to do. I'm just going to have a link in the description over to the CoinMarketCap website where we're going to copy the contract address for MetaMoon and then we'll be able to add it to our trust wallet. So uh, if you guys head over to that first link I have in the description, it'll just bring you guys over to CoinMarketCap. What you want to do is you want to scroll down and click on that little copy icon. 
Once you guys click on that little copy icon, you could exit out of here and head back over to Trust Wallet. Once you're back in Trust Wallet, you want to navigate to the top right where you see the two lines and the two circles. Go ahead and click on that. And then just click on the little search bar at the top and paste that contract address that we got from CoinMarketCap. Once you guys do that, you will then see metamoon.io pop up here. So we're just going to click on Enable and click on Done. Once we've done that, we want to go over to the browser on our screen. For whatever reason, if you guys don't see the browser on the bottom of your screen there, you guys have to go to the next link I have in the description. It'll be over to Trust Wallet's website. It's going to show you guys how to add the browser. So I'll show you guys what it looks like here. It just says that you have to enable your dApp browser. It's very, very simple. So you just scroll down on this website. And what you want to do is click on that little link that says Trust Browser Enable. That's going to pop up a pop-up here, and it's going to ask you to open it up in Trust Wallet. Once you guys do that, it will then give you the browser icon at the bottom of your screen. Very simple and easy to do. Once you guys have that browser icon on the bottom there, you just go ahead and click on Browser. Scroll down, and then just click on Pancake Swap. Now, once you guys are in PancakeSwap, this is your first time using it, you will have to connect your wallet and you could do that at the top of your screen where it says connect there. Just go ahead and click on connect and then click on trust wallet and it should automatically prompt up your wallet address at the top there. Very, very simple. Now, next thing you guys have to do is just confirm that you see your BNB balance uh, in the from section in the exchange. For whatever reason, if you don't see your BNB balance there, just make sure that you guys did send your BNB over to the smart chain wallet rather than just having it in the BNB wallet. Some people might purchase their BNB inside Trust Wallet as well. And if you guys do that, you do have to swap that BNB over to smart chain. And to do that, all you guys have to do is go over to where your BNB is located in your Trust Wallet click on it and then click on the dots. Once you click on the dots, just click on swap to smart chain and then it will then send the BNB over to smart chain. And then you can come back into pancake swap and you will see your BNB balance right there. Um, anyhow, what you guys have to do now is click on select a currency and you want to paste that same address that we got from coin market cap in here. So it's again, it's the first link in the description. So you just want to paste that address that we got in here as well. We then say MetaMoon. So we can go ahead and click on add and then click on the MetaMoon. And now all we have to do is change our slippage tolerance. I do recommend using 12% slippage tolerance, but you guys can change it and play around with it if you want. I have seen it work sometimes with 5%, sometimes with 10. Really depends on the coin, but uh, across the board, 12% has worked more so for me. Uh, to change your slippage tolerance, so you just want to go to the three lines beside exchange, click on that, and then you'll be able to adjust your slippage tolerance in here. So like I said, I've used 12 the most, but you guys can play around with it if you would like to. So I'm just going to set mine to 12 and close out of here. Now all I have to do is decide how much BNB that you guys want to transfer over to MetaMoon. So let's just say if I wanted to do 0.2, if I type in 0.2, it would then show me how much MetaMoon I'm going to get in exchange for that. Now, if you guys are okay with the exchange you see right here, all I have to do now is go to where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It should just tell you guys to swap or purchase here. Once you guys do that, it will bring you over to the next page where you'll see a broken down version of your transaction showing you your fees and your withdrawal rates and things like that. Now, if you guys are okay with those fees and rates, you can then exit out of there, click on confirm, and then go back over to your wallet and your MetaMoon should appear in your wallet usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to purchase the MetaMoon crypto. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.